Hey, we are at the Colombo Airport and you know, we're gonna talk to you about something that's so important. When you see people at the airport and you're saying goodbye to them, hey, what do you do? Maybe you call them, maybe you, you, you wave to them and you say, hey, I won't forget you. I will write to you, I will call you. And you give flying kisses and you miss the person so much. But I wonder when you have done that, sometimes in all the business of life, have you forgotten them? Have you not called them? Have you not written those letters? Have you not emailed them? And you know what? I want to take you to a story in the Bible that speaks about someone that forgot, forgot Joseph. Remember in Genesis chapter 40, verse 14, it says, but when all goes well with you, remember me. These are the words that Joseph spoke to the cupbearer. And in the interpretation, the cupbearer was going to be restored to the king's palace. And what Joseph wanted him to do was, don't forget me when you're in the palace, when things are going really well. And this is what happened in verse 23. It says the chief cup bearer, however, did not remember Joseph. He forgot him. Have you forgotten people in your life? People who have been such a blessing to you, people who have done some amazing things in your life. And you, you, you told yourself, I will never forget them. But then you have forgotten them. I want to challenge you today. Would you reach out to people like that? Maybe it's a teacher in school. Maybe it's a teacher in Sunday school. Maybe it's a lecturer somewhere in a university. Maybe it's a pastor in your life. Maybe it's somebody else who's been a great leader. Maybe one of your bosses and you want to appreciate them all fully in your workplace. Whoever they may be, would you reach out to them today? Would you take your phone or would you send them a text? Would you send them an email, a WhatsApp message? And would you say, I really have forgotten you. Please forgive me. I didn't mean to do that, but I really appreciate what you did for me during this time. And you refer to the time where you are so thankful. Hey, wouldn't that be a wonderful thing to do? Let's not be like the cupbearer forgetting Joseph altogether. But let us remember, you know, the people that have blessed us and taken us to higher levels in each of our lives. Hey, God bless you as you do that.